Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my video. Today, I'm going to be discussing what is a buyer's order? What is a purchase order? Knowing what that is, if you're going to purchase a car or lease a car. This document is very important. Anytime you purchase a vehicle from the dealership, whether you're leasing or buying, you are going to have a buyer's order. And it's very important that you know what a buyer's order is because it's a breakdown of everything that you're getting with the car when it comes to numbers. So when you think of the purchase order or the buyer's order, think of the final numbers, not the physical parts. And the reason you want to do this because on the buyer's order, you have your name, you have your address, your city, your state, your telephone number, your zip code, what vehicle you're buying, if you have a trade in whatever you buy in the car for or whatever the price is that's going to be at the top whether you're paying gms the media family discount or you're paying supplier price or you're just paying the negotiated price that you negotiated when you came through the door at the dealership but it's going to be the sales price of the car then you have tax everybody pays tax doesn't matter what you buy or what you lease if there's a dock fee, and it depends on what state you live in, what most dealer charges could range all the way up from $5 to $500 to $600. What well, doesn't matter, it depends on what state you live in. You can get around the dock fee, but the dock fee has to be on there. If there is a CVR fee, that's when you go into a dealership and you walk out with a plate. Some dealerships you buy a car from, you don't leave a dealership with your plate. You leave with a 15-day sticker. At Joe Long Island Chevrolet, you leave with a plate. We don't give you 15-day stickers. So in other words, right now, because it's COVID, you don't want to get a 15-day sticker and then have to worry about getting the plate. If you go to a dealership and you do not get a plate and you get a 15-day sticker, the dealership is going to have your plate within 15 days. The dealership will mail you the plate or they will call you to come pick up your plate. When you leave the dealership, you have a plate. That's what CVR fee is. And that's the cost of being the boss and I mean, just a fee that uh, you pay if you get your plate right then and there. On the buyer's order or what you wanna call the purchase order is if you buy any aftermarket products, whether you purchase a warranty, gap, turn wheel, any of the fees that you purchase must be itemized on that purchase order or buyer's order. It must be itemized on there. It'll be a line that says, if you just purchase an extended service contract, it'll say extended service contract. And that fee will be right there. Then if you have a trade-in and if you have negative equity, if you owe more on your car than what it's worth, that's going to be there also. That's going to be breakdown. Whether you owe more on your car than what it's worth, it's going to be there regardless what they gave you for your trade-in. So anything that you purchase from a dealership is going to be itemized on the buyer's order or purchase order. So pay attention to what you're paying for. Don't get excited because this is what most people do. They get so excited that they're taking their brand new vehicle home that they don't think to look at the breakdown of all their fees. So it's very important that you actually, what? You look at the itemized fees on your buyer's order or your purchase order, which is the same thing. Buyer's order, purchase order, buyer's order, purchase order is the same thing. So it's very important that you look at your itemized fees. If you don't learn nothing from the queen, know what your purchase, know what your buyer's order says. Know what your buyer order says says. Be able to go down and break down your fees and know your fees. And also know that if you have any questions while you're at that dealership, open your mouth and ask questions. So I hope that this video helped you. Whether you're leasing or buying a car, it doesn't just have to be from me. I'm just sharing information, sharing knowledge to you. So if this information was helpful, share my video, like my video, make comments at the bottom, because you might not be in the market to get a car right now, but you might know someone that's in the market. And I'm always wanting to share information. You know, I do have a YouTube page that I just started. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Regina Eileen Woodard, or um, follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, have a good day. Thank you.